Hello and welcome to Instagram 101. My name is Meredith and I created this training for those who are just getting started in their social selling business on Instagram, or say you've been at it for a hot minute, but you feel stagnant or stuck, this is for you. We're gonna cover so much in this video training. However, if you want a principle format, plus an ultimate content planner complete with how to set up your account type, how to write a caption with examples of CTAs and hooks, a post planner, a monthly planner, tools to review, and so, so much more, head to the description of this video where there's a link where you can snag that amazing tool and resource. Now, I want to start this out and let you know that your journey on Instagram, it is not linear. There are going to be high peaks, there's going to be low valleys, and that is the same for everybody. So as you're on your journey, know that you are not alone in this kind of ever-evolving journey on your Instagram growth. So let's go over follower flow because this is important to understand, right? You attract new potential followers to your account, right? And that is through your reels, your hashtag strategy, your carousels, and from other people sharing your content. If those people like what they see in their first impression, like hello, your bio and your photo, then you'll be able to convert them to a follower. Your followers start to like, know, and trust you through your stories, your lives, and your highlights. They're going to be interacting here, right? Because stories, stories yield so much more interaction with your followers. And so this is where you'll be able to start that direct message, relationship, and conversation. And that is where the magic is. That is when and where you convert them to either customers or they join you in your business, right? So we just talked about how important the bio is. Let's chat bio, right? For your profile picture, you want to make sure it's brightly lit, it's free of distractions, that you're smiling. Research shows that people are more attracted to people that are smiling. So you can keep your mouth shut, do a little smirk, or you can show your teeth and your smile, however you prefer, but get that bio pic ready to go, free of distraction, a plain background showing your face. With your name, you want to make it obvious and searchable, okay? So you could put your name and your niche, a name and a keyword. Um, you want this to be very obvious for people to know who you are and what you're about. Now, line one of your bio, this again, you want to make clear who your profile is for and the value you'll provide to that ideal viewer. And we're going to go through some examples, okay? You then want to have a qualifying statement. This is where it's a fact that supports your knowledge for that ideal customer, that ideal client. And lastly, you want to make sure you have a CTA in there, something that's going to intrigue your viewer to be curious about your link, right? To be, hmm, okay, something's in that link for me. I know that something's in that link for me. I'm going to click it. So let's look at some examples. Over here on the left, this one, the person in their bio has executive partner, top leader. Hey, y'all, finding your version of wellness. I'm all about balance, surgical tech, army vet. I have no idea what I'm going to get from this account, okay? Am I going to get information about this executive partner, top leader? Am I going to get information about wellness and your version of wellness? So does that mean different types of wellness? Um, am I going to get information about surgical tech or army vet? And I don't understand what is in that link. If I click it, I don't know what's in it for me. So I'm going to scroll on and I'm probably not going to hit a follow and I'm not going to hit on that link. Meanwhile, we have Jennifer over here on the right. She's here to help the 40 year old women achieve skin and hair glow up of our dreams. I'm approaching 40. I'm intrigued. <laughs> I want good skin and hair. I'm intrigued. 24K in 10 months. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds impressive. And she's got her little excited emoji there. So the perception of that qualifying statement adds value. Instant one minute skin quiz below. Okay, it's instant. I don't actually have to talk to anybody. It's not going to take up a bunch of my time. It's one minute. Okay. I'm in her niche. I'm curious. I might click that. Let's look at these two. So we have on the left here, believer, wife, mother, friend, leader, 
non-perfect mama and skincare lover obsessed with helping women find their confidence. Let's be friends with her link. I have no idea if I am going to get information about her faith, if I'm going to get posts about being a wife or a mother or a friend or a leader. Am I going to get content that's related to being a non-perfect mama? Am I going to get skincare content? Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to get from this profile. So I'm probably just going to keep scrolling on. Meanwhile, we have Cass here over on the right. She is a busy mama fitness, okay? She's helping you fit fitness in to your day and prioritize your health. I'm interested in that. I'm trying to get back in shape. I'm a mom. I need to prioritize my health. I'm, I'm fitting her niche, okay? Then she's got her qualifiers. She's a mom of two. She's a wife, postpartum weight loss. Then she's got, you know, BS, EXS. I have no idea what that means but it sounds impressive. Again, that perception is qualifying her for me. Just the perception of it. Free beauty food lists. Something free and I fall into her niche, her, her target client, her target customer. I'm probably going to click that. I'm probably going to give her a follow. You see the difference here? Let's look at these two. Over on the, the left, we have Set Apart in Christ, being real about abortion and mom life, embracing imperfections, wife to this person, mama to this kid, and the links. I, again, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to get from this profile. It isn't specific enough. It has a lot of different pieces to it, a lot of different avenues it could go. So I'm probably not going to follow. Over on the right, we've got Kristen. She helps businesses organically grow their following brand and revenue through social media. She offers daily reels tips and she has a free and reach your, enrich your niche course. I fall into that target. I wanna grow my following, my brand, my revenue. I wanna grow that on social media. I love reels. I, could, I can take all the tips that you have. Any tip, I'm here for it. And this free course, hey now, free? I'm all about the free. <laughs> I'm probably going to click that link. Let's take a look at my bio, right? I've got my name in here, social selling tips. There's my keywords. My statement that shows what I'm going to add value to my followers, helping entrepreneurs escape being stuck in their biz with strategies that bring results. My qualifier, retired from 8 to 5 at 34. Point down, free ultimate guide to Instagram, which is this video, you're welcome. <laughs> but if what's in it for my viewers, my followers, it's free. And this is a pretty good training. <laughs> so let's get into content, because now that we've perfected that bio, we've got to get some content on our page, on our account, that is going to add value, right? So we have different formats. The formats include Reels, IG Lives, DMs, carousels and images, stories, guides and highlights. And then there's different types of content. And you always wanna make sure when you're putting out your content, it falls into one of these types. When it comes to your news feed, educational, entertaining, informative, inspirational, personal, great for your news feed. When it comes to stories, all of that plus promotional can fall into your stories, okay? Stories are where we sell. So let's look at the different types of formats when it comes to our content, okay? This first one where it says the perfect bio, this is a carousel. You can tell it's a carousel by in the top right, it has those squares. Carousels are great for conversions, for follows, saves, and shares. The great thing about carousels right now is that Instagram will show it to your follower and if they don't interact with the post, Instagram will show it to them again, but with the next video or photo in the carousel. So it'll continue to show it to them. It'll continue to show up in their feed until they interact or until they've made it through all of your photos or images on that post. Next up, we have Reels. You can tell it's Reels again by that icon in the top right. And Reels help with your traffic and your reach. They're gonna really increase your reach. We've got lives, you can tell lives by that play symbol up in the right corner. And lives build the like, know, and trust with your current followers. 
right? So they're not, it's not something that you're going to really boost your reach on, but they're going to help you with that like, know, and trust, which is so crucial when you're trying to convert your followers to customers. Then we've got stories down here on the bottom left and stories pull back the curtain of Oz a bit, okay? You give your, your followers a behind the scenes. Again, stories only show to your followers. So it's not where you're going to increase your reach or increase your following, but this is where you're going to build more of that like, no trust. It's where you sell things and it's how you stay top of mind with your followers. Then we've got highlights. Highlights are how to's, your guides, about me. This is a great place to put testimonials so your followers can quickly see testimonials and what you're all about. And then we have DMs. DMs are where the magic happens. And we're going to get into that in just a minute. So the optimal length and frequency, when you're talking about carousels, you want to do about eight to 10 slides in your carousel post. Now, if you're really focusing on your, your Instagram and your growth, two carousels a week is ideal. Now, if you're, if you are someone that's like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. Scale it back and be consistent with whatever schedule you create for you. Okay. So that might be one carousel of every other week because you really like reels and, and they're simpler for you and you can batch them out. Right. But make sure that you're consistent with that. Reels, seven to 15 seconds is the ideal length of a reel. If you get too much longer than that, you, you're going to turn people off. If you get too much shorter than that, you won't have their attention long enough to make an impact. Okay. Stories. This is where you sell things and you stay top of mind. Four to eight stories a day daily and showing up daily in your stories and kind of giving them the behind the scenes this is my life, you know, daycare drop off, hair is not perfect. Again, you're, you're unveiling that curtain of Oz a little. This is where you really start to build and nurture that relationship with your followers. And lives, you want to keep lives to about 15 to 30 minutes. And that's because if it's too long, no one's going to hit the replay. <laughs> no one's going to stick around for like a 45 or, or an hour long live, right? But if it's 15, 30 minutes, I'll watch. And again, one to two times a week, if that's too much for you, you can scale it back, but be consistent with whatever schedule you set for yourself. So now that we know about the different types of content, let's chat what the checklist is. And this is, this is really crucial for your captions and for your reels, because this is going to help boost engagement. Okay. So you want to start with a hook because you got to stop them in their scroll. You got to get them curious about what you're sharing. Then you add some insight, right? You add value or benefits. You share a story or a testimonial. And lastly, you have a call to action. This is where you get them to act. It's clear, it's simple, it's frictionless. And this is not just for a static post, you guys. This is for your carousels. This is for your reels. This is for your lives, right? The title of your live, that's your hook. Your insight is what you're talking about throughout your live. And you end it with a call to action and that should all be in your caption as well. Same as with reels. You gotta start your reel with a hook. Stop that scroller in their scroll. And then you add some insight and you always have that call to action, okay? So let's look at an example. So my hook, the simplest way to find trending reels Trending audio for reels. Okay, if you fall into my niche, if you're following me, this is going to be something that you're curious about. Insight. No more searching on Google. No more waiting for reels coaches to share. It's all in your hands, specifically your right one. That's where I add value or benefit to my followers, right? Oh my gosh, I've been searching on Google. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this reels coach to share weekly trending audios. No, you can, you can do it right from your right hand. And there's a little wink there because in the reel, I talk about how most of, uh, most people hold their phones in their right hands. And so they specifically Instagram will position trending stuff on the right side because that's where we typically navigate. Drop this emoji in the comments. If you didn't know about this strategy. 
So I'm getting them to engage in the post. I'm getting them to give me a comment. Once they comment, I can comment back. I could shoot them a DM thanking them or asking them, you know, which was their favorite trending audio this week, or I can start the conversation. That's the whole point. So here's some examples. Again, I have so much more in that ultimate guide. So if you want more than what I have here, be sure to head to the link in the description of this video. But your hooks, you know, skincare tips that actually work. Don't film your next reel until you read this. The most common mistake in network marketing. Five simple ways to contour, right? These are all hooks. Then we get into the insights. If you're gonna share a story, take your follower on a journey before, since, in the future. That's how I always recommend sharing a story. Before partnering with my current company, I was lacking my self-esteem. I lost my passion. I didn't have anything outside of motherhood. I lost my identity outside of being a mom. Since partnering with my current company, the fire has been relit. I've made all these connections with women across the country. I lead a team of 200. I have found my purpose. And in the future, I am so excited because our team is continuing to grow, but also our company is continuing to grow. And we're going to go into new markets. So my impact on others is just going to unfold. It's going to explode. And I can't wait for you guys to be along for the journey, right? Before, since, in the future. Testimonials. How what you're sharing simplifies your viewer's current routine, how it benefits them, something relatable, something funny. You get the gist of the insights. Then we have a CTA. Comment skin to learn more. What do you struggle with in regards to Instagram? Tag a friend who would find this helpful. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. So these are very generic. You can fit them into any niche. But they're crucial to your post or they're crucial to your reel or they're crucial to your live because this is where you get that interaction. This is where you tell them what to do. You're taking control so that you can keep that conversation going. So we know about posts now. We're going to chat stories because stories is where you convert your followers to customers. You want to be consistent. You want to be active in your stories. This is where you show the behind the scenes. This is where you do your teamy shout outs. You shout people out for, hey, congratulations on this milestone or shout yourself out. This is where you can be silly, where you can share your business, where you can share your reviews and testimonials, your thank you for your orders. I see so many thank you for your orders in people's feed, in their posts. It belongs in your stories. This is where you share about your lifestyle. I'm trying to get back into fitness. I share that in my stories. Doesn't fit my niche. So it would confuse followers if it started being in my post and in my feeds. But that the right place for that is in my stories. This is where you build that like, know, and trust. People engage in your stories so much more than they engage in newsfeed posts. So you can really start the conversation in the DM. So that way, when you have an offer, and your offer might come three days later, three weeks later, three years later, but you've already built that repertoire in the DM. And it there's no hey girl message because you're already in there. You've built that like no trust. You stay someone who's sharing a solution instead of someone who's hey girling. Make sense? So it's important to be social on social media. I hear all the time, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm posting, I'm not getting much engagement. I'm not getting much um, traction or reach to my page. And it's probably because of this. You, yourself, aren't being social. You're posting and you're praying. Here's the thing. You've got to give before you can get. 
And I love to use this LCC strategy, okay? So you can do this through either hashtags or accounts. Say it's a hashtag, anti-aging skincare, weight loss journey, moms who contour, moms who hustle, okay? You go to that hashtag, you find a couple of posts that inspire you, that you relate to, that have a lot of other comments and engagement on them. You give that post a like and a comment. Then you find some other accounts on that post. You go to their account. You give them a couple likes and comments. Now that person's going to be like, Meredith Bolter, that's a new name. That's a new account. Let me check her out. And if I've perfected my bio, if I have my good description, my good cover photo, my highlights in check, she looks at some of my content and it is relatable to her issues. It adds value to, to roadblocks she's going through. She's probably going to give me a like. She's probably going to give me a follow. And then we can start that relationship. I can start to build the like, know, and trust. So take the guessing, take the praying away. Put your actions into work to build traction to your account. And you do that by being social on social media. And this is a great strategy to do that. You can also do it by like inspiring accounts. Say there's an account that really inspires you and it's related to your niche. Go to that account, like and comment on a recent post, find an account or two that's liked and commented on that post too. Go to their account. You could do 10 of these a day. It'd be about 10 minutes. And I promise you, you're going to get more engagement. Okay. So let's streamline because at this point you might be saying, oh my gosh, Instagram sounds like a full-time job and it doesn't have to be, okay? First is planning, right? So get a content planner, get your strategy in order. That's gonna be so helpful. Like I said, there's, a, there's one if you click the link in the description of this video. Now I love to save stuff that I come across. If I'm scrolling and I see something that's inspired me or that I want to put my own spin on, I'll save it. And you save content by hitting this icon right here above where it says saves. You save the content by clicking that. It's on the bottom right of posts. Now, if you're in reels and you're, see you're on reels on the full screen, you can click the three dots on the top right and you can save from there as well. Now, I like to save to folders. That way, what I'm saving is organized, right? And create folders however works best for you. What I have found is if I set the date for the folder, so if I'm going to start one next week, that would be like 320. And I would save content that I want to share the week of 320. Say 320 is booked up, so I'm moving on to the next week, 327. And I'll save content that I find that I want to put my own spin on and share into that folder. So that way I can batch my content when I'm ready to film. So here is how you batch your content. Have a spot that is designated to your filming or your picture taking. Have a spot that's designated. Your ring light is there. You've got a couple different lip shades there, a couple different shirts that are ready to go there. When you designate your time, okay, I'm going to go batch some content. You go into your saved folder. You get the contents already there and ready for you. So you don't have to go search for it. Your ring lights already there. Your outfits are already there. Your change of lip gloss is already there. So all you have to do in that time you've set aside to batch is literally just batch your content. You're not having to find the content you want to, you know, put your spin on. You're not having to find inspiration. You're not having to go grab shirts. You're not having to find your ring light and clean out an area. It's already set for you. So then when you batch, bam, that full amount of time is just designated to creating your content. And I highly recommend a planner with this as well, because then you can have which hashtag banks you want to use. 
You can have all of your caption cheat sheets so that it's, it's not hard to come up with a CTA and insight and a hook. And speaking of hashtags, I highly recommend this hashtag hack. I'm obsessed with it. So I write the hashtags, the hashtag group in a note. I copy that note of 30 hashtags or so. I always like to do about 25 because I'll insert some on the fly hashtags that are related to my content specifically, if that makes sense. So like say I'm filming a social media tips reel and I'm at a local coffee shop, I'll also do some local hashtags, you know? So I like to do about 35 hashtags because 30 is your limit. And I will then head to my settings on my phone, go to general keyboard text replacement, and you can set up text replacements for your hashtag groups. So say you're in skincare, you could do hashtag skincare tips, and then set up your replacement for like 25 skincare hashtags. So when you're writing your content, when you're writing that caption, all you have to do is hashtag skincare tips and boom, 25 hashtags are gonna replace that. That's gonna save you so much time. I also like to put this in my planner because then I'm differentiating my hashtags and I'm not using the same one all the time. I find that when I'm not planning, I'll default to the same ones. So I highly recommend planning out your hashtags and using that hack to save time. Now, question we get all the time is, when should I post? When should I be engaging in other people's social media content, right? When should I be doing that LCC, right? And Instagram provides this information for you. So if you have over a hundred followers on your account, you can click where it says insights over here on the left with picture one, then click where it says total followers. You can then scroll down and see most active times. So I know I am gonna do my posts at noon and three today because at noon and three, my followers are most active. I can scroll over to see other days. I can scroll back to see previous days. You can also shift it to see um, days of the week. So I could look and say, um, I only I, I can only post to, to Instagram four times a week. So I would come in here and look, which days are people more active? And those are the days that I'm gonna make sure I'm posting my content. Makes sense, it's really simple. Instagram gives you so many insights. And this is available when you're a creator account. And in that ultimate Instagram guide and content planner, I go over why a creator account is best and how to set that up. So that is what we had on our agenda today. Thank you so much for making it to this part all through the video. That means that you are truly ready to go on an Instagram journey and to grow your social selling on Instagram. Now, like I've been saying throughout this video, if you're intrigued to get more printable forms just like this, head over to the description. There's a link in there and it'll bring you to the ultimate Instagram guide and content planner, which is available for download. Again, thank you so much. I'm so grateful that you are excited to grow your business on Instagram and I can't wait to watch you soar.